And the constant cold weather this winter has worn on our patients, but it also has worn on something you may not normally think of, our roads. Cedar Valley Today's Jesse Kielman tells us more. If you didn't have enough reasons to want the winter weather to end, we have one more to add to the list. Pothole damage in the Cedar Valley is unusually high this year due to the severe weather. According to Brian Heath, the Operations and Maintenance Division Manager for the City of Cedar Falls, there are a couple reasons motorists may be experiencing unusually bad roads. The first is that the roads have endured more damage than past years due to the severe weather. In addition to this, the conditions have prevented the city from repairing roads as consistently as normal. The city isn't able to use the preferred repair methods until the temperature rises above freezing and the ice that remains in the potholes is preventing them from using their temporary solutions, meaning relief is still off on the horizon. Heath says that there are three preferred methods to deal with potholes. The most common one is hot mix asphalt, which the city will begin using in May, after the winter is over. The second type is cold mix, which the city uses for temporary fixes. However, because the temperatures haven't risen above freezing, ice has filled the potholes for much of the season, preventing the use of the cold mix. The final method is the spray injection patch, which is a long-term solution that can be used before spring arrives. Although this is an ideal solution, it has to be used in above freezing temperatures, which hasn't been a frequent occurrence this year. Although the city has plans in place to repair potholes throughout the winter, he says the issue has been addressed long before the first frost. A lot of this freeze thaw coming up, you know, like in April, late March, you get a lot of moisture underneath the pavement that penetrates. And, and then what it does is when it freezes at night, it just kind of pushes all that material back out. So what we try to do throughout the summertime is prevent that moisture from penetrating the pavement in the first place. And that's with a, with a good sound crack seal program. And so we, we have uh, a crew that's dedicated to that exclusively throughout the summer. Days in the forecast, Heath is unsure when the city will be able to start repairs again.